Let's go to Cargonia, land of stolen things. Obey the quartermaster, less he is a link. Cargo takes out the station, find more stuff to take. But the boss is never satisfied until the station breaks. Hey folks, Tex the Black Pants Legion again, trying to follow my doctor's advice and my psychiatrist's advice and all the advice of my friends and followers. Relaxing. Taking the time to play a little bit of Dwarf Fortress. Just wanted to let you guys know that I have been really drawing down on content creation and in fact every episode part of this point was probably shot two months ago. I mean, I've been running so far ahead for so long I thought it was normal. I mean, in all honesty, there was a certain point a few months ago where I could have died. I could have died, and you wouldn't know it for about three, four months. That's how far ahead I run. So, I realized that was unhealthy, and um, I'm working on it. Speaking of unhealthy, let's look at this fortress. This is oil chucked, which uh, some of you have been following along with. is probably one of the most uh, dysfunctional door fortress forts you've ever seen. It's got some interesting ideas, and by that I mean um, dead people's clothes on the roof and giant piles of miasma and bones everywhere. But it's got a bar, um, and uh, it has a population of mostly functional dwarves that are constantly slipping into a, a terrifying depression. So, you know, um, normal. It's had some problems, um, and by problems I mean it's inundated with problems it's it's uh it's fucked up so what we're trying to do is usher in a new era i went behind the scenes and tweaked a lot of their uh, jobs and everything trying to get these guys to be a little more efficient if you want to see somebody who can play some fucking dwarf fortress that would be pablo ichiban p-a-b-l-o-i-c-h-i-b-a-n like the spanish name and uh the beer Pablo Ichiban is so fucking good at Dwarf Fortress, it's scary. He played it once on a stream, and it was like watching an AI try to explain math to a toddler. We were standing mouth agape as he wowed us with his majesty. He is majestic at this game. I've been trying to convince him to uh, show some Dwarf Fortress guides to help us normies, you know, cope with his abilities. I told him, shit, man, if you started a Patreon saying, teach me to play Dwarf Fortress, you'd have a lot of people who would pay for that privilege. A lot of people. Pablo's great at this game, and I, I think that would really go a long way. But let's look at the status of the fortress here. 135 strong, and by that I mean about 50 of them are competent. We have one Swords Dwarf, we have one Wrestler, we have two Recruits slash Other, and the rest is a Militia and Name only. We have a lot of food stores. Uh, we have 4,196 meat, 25 fish, 50 98 plants, 258 seeds, 1,055 drink, and 3453 other, which is probably our enormous stockpile of animal bits and cheeses. We have a giant wall of miasma, which is where they cook things, uh, of which most is rotten. We have a bunch of dwarves that are slowly losing their fucking mind because the rain is killing them. As you all know, that's crazy. Oh boy. No, I keep getting messages in the other window. People saying, Tex, are you actually relaxing? Yes, yes, I'm relaxing. Look at this relaxation. Oh boy. So, looking at all this, I think I'm getting the feeling, I've been getting the feeling of a fort that's starting to sink. Now, I've made more progress on this fucking fort than I have on many forts before this. Um, which I think is remarkable, uh, considering how incompetent I am at this game, and then I, I get okay at it, and then I don't play it for a while, and then I come back to it, and it burns down. So, yeah, um... I'm, I'm still remembering, uh, no, still remembering a lot of the, uh, shortcuts here. 
Need to build a new kitchen. There we go. Yeah. Well, let's build a kitchen out of copper bars. But yeah, I'm hoping, as I've said, to create layers and layers and layers of uh, engravings. So that whenever this fortress does finally fall, there will be an excellent historical record for anyone who uh, comes along. I want them to be able to dungeon dive this place and provide a record of their historical uh, findings because by the time this place falls, they will not have seen this episode. So the episode after this place fall will be an archaeological uh, dive. I think that'll be really fun. I'm going to give it to guys in the Legion who uh, are really good at Door Fortress Adventure Mode and I want them to, I want them to dig into it. And if you're looking for where this place is, right there. We are right there. Follow the zigzag down, and we're right there. The reticent continent, the smooth spine. I want people to know, you know, where we were, in case it comes to dungeon diving. Cancelled fish, oblivious. Well, I guess fishing does make you kind of oblivious, doesn't it? Oh boy, I'm getting this weird static problem with my microphone. I'll I'll listen to it and I'll hear these little bursts of static, and I'm like, where is that coming from? And that's the problem is when you get higher end audio equipment, you're constantly chasing little things, trying to go, what what is that? What is that little annoying thing? What's really crazy is, um, if you listen to my earlier stuff from like 2011 when I first started, I sound so youthful and happy and positive, and, and now I sound all like gravelly and horrible. And that's two things. One, that's throat damage. Um, and two, that is better microphone so I don't have to speak up and yell. And three, that is the most uh, cruel thing of all, uh, which is uh, time. Time will make you bitter like nothing else. Look at this. Build me some doors. I know this isn't going to be like celebrated like Moria or anything, but I, I think this would be a pretty cool fortress. God, look at him smooth that fucking floor. Just boom, boom, boom. Hopefully I'll be able to turn this fortress around so it'll last just a little longer. But we've got so many of these people that are slipping into depression. I know, I know, I know. It's because I don't let them craft anything. I, I've made my useless farmers and fishermen go fuck off. I'm hoping they die, as fucked up as that sounds, so I can uh, gain some frame rate back. Um, I, I know killing doors for frames is awful, but uh, I, I not frame rate, uh, clock speed. I, I want my fortress to have this. Alright, let's... Yeah, Alright, well, we'll wait till that's all excavated. Now after this, I'm gonna concentrate, I think, a bit more on my mining directives, because this is the layers where we should start finding some good shit, and, uh... I'm not... I'm definitely not, um... I'm definitely not Krug Smash. I mean, Krug Smash is so fucking good at this shit, because he'll just go right down to the cavern! Go right down to that cavern and he'll find the good shit. He'll be down there like, Oh, a forgotten beast has come. It's made out of sawdust and bacon. You know, and he fights it and it blows up. And then there's an epic story of it. He has the ability, like, where Krug Smash is great is he will come up with a crazy idea, not know how to do it at all, and then try anyways. And then he's good at peering in to the story that unfolds from the characters and how they interact. And that is majestic. That is so fucking good. That one ability to be able to look in and find out why these things happen. Be able to look in and peer into the soul of these little creatures and then figure out why they do this. The the backstory is where he excels. It's it's so good. We got a farmer throwing some tantrums and shit. God, we have so many finished goods, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I think all of our workshops are completely uh, broken and overfilled now. I mean, look, look at all this. We could fill a hundred stockpiles with finished goods. 
This has become a hoarder for it. We have, we we have too much. I mean, look, we we have no room to fit fit that shit. Oh my god. Well, more storage it is. I mean, this is bonkers. But yeah, I would recommend you guys, uh, I, I would absolutely recommend you guys bookmark old Pablo Ichiban, because he's got some fun shit coming up, and I've been encouraging him to record the shit out of Dwarf Fortress. Because his ability to be able to go, oh, you want to build a magma forge, oh, you want to be able to build uh, anything. He just comes up with it, and, and he knows instinctively how to get this shit done. And I think that's that's magnificent. That needs... I mean, his, his skill is so greater than mine, it's terrifying at this. He also did some Space Station 13 guides, so if you're looking for that kind of stuff, I would recommend you check him out. Uh, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna have more bards. We have more bards than common sense. Well, I do anyway. Jesus. All right. So those of you, you who are following along, who have recording software and would want to dungeon dive this fort, let me know in the comments and follow along. Because uh, once this fort dies, I'll go to my community page and say this fort has died. Here's the world file. And uh, if you've watched this series, you will know where the fort is. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Bards are visiting. Okay. A few people have gone insane or what have you. I, I don't care. I just go outside. Go outside and be crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, good. Bye. I know someone was probably found dead. Who cares? Well, that guy. He died in the middle of the road. Well, looks like it's time to fucking bury more people in our asylum. Oh, we've got so many people. Chalk coffins. I wonder what would happen if you buried someone in a chalk coffin. Anybody out there who's, uh... Anybody out there who knows anything, please let me know. I, I want to know what would happen if, if you used a, a chalk coffin. When I world build, I think of stuff like this. Like, what are their building materials and why? And what would that what would that be like? What would a city be like if all the buildings were made of chalk? Would it sound different? Would that absorb echoes different? What if all their roads were made of, you know, copper ore? You know, you start thinking of these little things and then you end up not being uh, productive because you're lost in the minutia. So, but yeah, I'd recommend Dwarf Fortress for anybody. I, I really would. I've, I've played it on stream before badly and then I let Pablo take over because he's so fucking good. It's, it's scary. There's our giant place where people hang out. But yeah, man, look at this. We got Mark's doors, we got Rasslers, we got others. Alright. Yeah, we need more stockpile for finished goods. Rock blocks, rock coffins. Yeah, rock coffins are going to be probably one of our greatest exports. I hate to say that, but uh, yeah. Actually. Hmm. Well, he's working right now. He's making charcoal. I mean, we got wood burners, and that's good. And we've got so many pieces of everything that have also burned down, which is nuts. There's one of our miners. Potate. I feel so good. Euphoric to inebriation, satisfied at work. <laughs> oh, I love my job. I can drink at it. And then just swings a hammer. No, you were interrupting a song. Oh, someone killed a bard. Who cares? Who cares? 
damn it, it was gonna play a Simon Sverberberberber song, and, and then it interrupted it, and now we're getting... Some poets were found dead and what have you. Um, you know, and that happens. Occasionally, there's bar fights, and someone kills a poet. Oh, and let more poets. One poet dies, and two replace him. I promise on my next for it to be a little bit more careful. Now nah, I'm lying, that's not gonna happen. Um, hmm. I have a feeling I'd probably be better at this game if I uh, played it every day, but I don't have that time, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm putting a roof over all this, so ideally this'll be great. I won't ever have to have my people go outside other than when they decide to go outside, which is their own fucking fault, you know? Building. No, not that. Uh, floor. There we go. I don't even have to look at it anymore. I feel like a superhero. Finally, they're disassembling that top wall, and I can turn this into a fucking bunker. Beautiful. Der Bunker. Yeah, Kraftsdorf is starving. Fine. I'm gonna replace all this greenery with pavement. Blocks. Ugh, no more fishing. Good. Stop fishing. I keep turning their fishing off and they keep fishing. It's to irritate me, I know it. Gotta get in on that mug game, baby. Mm, rock blocks. If we live long enough, I intend to dig down, and deeply, and widely, I intend to dig like crazy. A lot of my people are stumbling around crazy because, well, I mean, uh, the place isn't that great, and sometimes people have gone insane, you know? Signing rooms to people. Because, you know what? Everyone's getting a nice apartment. There we go. Nice apartments. Go. 
I mean, I want everyone to have like amazing rooms, and then that way it's they they don't give a shit when when the place goes bad. They'll just go back to their like amazing room and then be like, oh wow, that's fucking great. What a nice room. What with it being all pitch black and in the dark and full of giant boulders you can trip over when you're hammered. You know. That sort of stuff. I also realized that this is a very weird fortress because we ha we have like no guard or anything that's punishing people for being shit asses. So, uh... Potentially a disaster. Potentially a grand disaster. I think it's fantastic though, I mean... They're gonna find all these people with these amazing rooms and, and they'll wonder like, wow, why did this hotel fail? And they'll probably be like, well, because of this giant pile of bodies and the stink. Man, I love this soundboard I've got. Not soundboard, mixer. Because I can just sit there and uh, if I have something that's like loud or whatever going on, I can just kill the main mic and just sit there and think. Or deal with it. It's fucking nice. It really is nice. Or if my phone rings or whatever, I can just... I'm just going to approve these without looking at them. Um, you know. Oh cool, we have a hammer dwarf. Greg is a hammer dwarf. Yes. And they're moving bodies. So some of my behind the scenes tweaks have been better. Kind of. Not really. We have a lot of dwarves that are just fucking crazy. Um, but the construction has continued, so I, I would say things are working alright. Hmm. It would be kind of interesting to see as this fortress declines, you realize that there's, you know, different types of uh, bars being used. Because they run out of, you know, chalk or they, they're building in a hurry so they just use whatever. Wow, a lot of surface materials. I didn't know. That's interesting. We have all these bards that keep visiting. Wish they'd fuck right off, but, you know, trailer park boys fashion, I'll pay you a hundred dollars to fuck off. It's going to be a hard show to explain in like 10, 20 years. I would say the first Six, seven seasons of that were fucking brilliant. The first four seasons of that, as far as I know, they had, like, minimal script. It was just, you guys disagree over blank, and they would just go in and improv this whole huge scene. And then when uh, Dunsworth died, I, I, I think that it was kind of irrecoverable past that point. I know they've been doing other stuff, and they're trying to say the show must go on, but it, it feels like, I mean, imagine if in Next Generation, Picard died, like, halfway through, and you'd be like, ugh, you know... As neat as it would be, as neat as it would be to have a show called Riker, uh, it, it, I don't think it'd work. And if Jonathan Frakes hears this, I'm sorry. You're a great guy, you seem really nice, but you're not Picard, man. He, everyone says he's like a really nice guy, so I feel bad even saying that. But, you know, I, once a year, and I know this has nothing to do with Dwarf Fortress at this point, but once a year, I watch all the episodes of Star Trek. All of them. Oh shit, yes. One second. No, no. Uh-huh. Yeah, tantrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, who, who's bringing goods? Ah, uh, an elven caravan. Ugh. Alright, what do I got? 
Wood, 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 wood. Training axes. Everything's wood. Stone? I mean, I could give them some rocks. They won't take it, though, because they're... They're all fucking weak. I could probably trade them these gems. I made a lot of iron, which is kind of nice. Let's see what we can get for our gems. See how good they are. That reminds me. Uh, military. Let's get into their armor. No, no, no. I want them to wear metal all the time. I want metal. Metal armor. Hopefully that works. Um, I'm probably doing that wrong. I have to check back on it. But no, I, every, every year I watch, um, like, original series, Next Generation, and DS9. Um, it, it, every year or every other year, I, I watch, like, a, a selection of those episodes. I used to watch them all, like, in sequence, but... You know, being as busy as I am now, I, I kind of pick and choose my favorites. And I, I had some thoughts. Um, I, I mean, I, I can talk Star Trek all fucking day. I love Trek. I'm not perfectly knowledgeable about Star Trek. I, I can't tell you, you know, everything about, like, the Shellyak conglomerate and why they had a, you know, a treaty and then didn't speak with a federation for a hundred and some odd years. And I, I can't really tell you much about, like, their preference for H-class worlds or stuff like that. I, I don't know all the things. I know a lot, but not everything. Um, my level of dorkery in that is like, I, I'm the guy that has Mr. Scott's Guide to the Enterprise on his shelf, you know? I, I love all that technical, techno babble nonsense, but one of the things I was wondering is, what the fuck are they trying to do with this Picard series? Because Discovery looks awful. Uh, the bits of it I've seen, I just said, this is not Star Trek. This is somebody who hates Star Trek being forced to make a Star Trek show. And look how many bards are in our fucking bar. You come in and it's like a chorus singing. Ugh. I hate it. Ugh. Come on, unpack. I mean, we've got a babbling dwarf out there. It's just like, blah, 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 and the elves are like, hmm. Oh, and we're in year 258. It's slowed down so much, it's insane. We got dwarves throwing tantrums and shit. But our miners are not in crate. Yeah, we got people throwing tantrums. I mean, metal workers and everything else. They've all lost their minds. I mean, we're not far off from a tantrum spiral. Where it just loses it. You know? Not far off at all. I mean, we've got like masterpiece mugs and shit. So whenever the the mountain homes come, they'll be like, oh. Oh, craft store's been found dead. Well, get back to work. What have they got? What what is this? Partial skeletons in here, man. They and they don't care. They're just like, whatever. This guy's been torn in half. 
No, that's two different people. Yeah, people get murdered. I mean, there's this huge pile of gore here. Part of somebody's musical instrument that's also been uh, thrown down. Maybe that someone didn't like the bard's music and decided to, you know, object. Yeah, okay, there's pieces of him. Fuck. Why are these bolts everywhere? Oh, he must have gone crazy. And then walked up there and the elves did the job. I mean, oh god, we've got like, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. He walked up there, got a bit nuts, and the elves just filled him with bolts and uh, he died. So he's just laying there against the other side of the wall, slumped over, and uh, yeah, that's why you shouldn't do that. Remember, boys, around elves, watch yourselves. You know, I've had this thought often, and and some people will wonder with me, and some people will answer with me. But, hmm. Oh boy, and here we go. Back again. Come on, elves. Unpack your shit. Get in there. Yeah, then now we can trade. Let me put that microphone back down to delicious range. All right, let's see what they got. It's all crap because they're elves. We know it's crap. They're elves. But bananas. Look, give, give me all this. I'll take all your fucking shit. There. Give me that. Ugh. Fucking elves. At least we got their almonds so we can make almond butter. And they, of course, bring us dirt uh, because they're elves. Ugh. We'll take their barrels. Our wood is better because we grow it in the special shapes. Fuck off. Don't you want a wooden helm? Ugh. All right. Get out of here. Fucking degenerates. <sighs> sure. Just walk past the corpses. Don't worry about those. 
I mean, our military is slowly doing stuff. And by that, I mean it exists. Kind of. Maybe. We have a few people who know what they're doing, in principle. In principle. There's that difference between principle and fact. We're gonna claim these. I think it's funny that, uh... Every so often we have a crazy person. And this crazy person goes around and does stuff. Looks like someone broke that fucking mechanism again. Which is bullshit. Alright, well, let's... Uh... Yeah, every so often we have a fucking crazy person. And this crazy person will break stuff and then get murdered by caravans. Every so often. Alright. Let's clean up this area a little bit. And, you know, maybe, uh... Clean up this dead bird. I don't know, maybe. Maybe not. I... be eh, It's part of the decoration, right? I mean, we've just got corpses laying around now. We've got a lot of dead dwarves. Poets and carpenters and... Jesus. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have a whole Hall of the Dead here. Hall of the Dead. I mean, we're running out of burial space, so, uh, productivity. Hmm. Double checking here. See, there's a zone. I'm hoping to have this be a giant dining hall over here. I mean, people are eating there, but I'd, I'd like to point it as one and then have everyone carve it out so it's nice. Real nice. Fancy nice. Oh, yeah. Well, in theory, nice, okay? It's in theory nice. It's not nice nice for real nice, but it's potential nice. The Holes of the Dead. I keep trying to tell these fuckers not to fish, and then they go out there and fish. Did that guy, uh, kill a goat? What is this? Oh. Yeah, I know it's in you. It's a you, and he's fighting it. I think. He tore one of its legs off. Shit. Imagine going into a fort, and you hear, like, some horrible animal making noise, and then... This guy's, like, just tearing it apart. And you're like, oh. Oh. And no one notices. People are just like, oh, whatever. 
I must be mad again. Like, people make a joke about it. Like, he <laughs> must be angry. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the background, a dwarf schleps this enormous stone coffin into a room full of them, all neatly laid out. Nice. So they'll do one thing, they'll move coffins. Bury the dead. <laughs> I have a wondrous invention idea. <laughs> no, you don't. You're gonna go crazy. All right. You there. I'm building an artifact. Give me the workshop. But I was just about to... Give me the workshop. But... Give it to me. But... Give it to me. Okay. That's kind of weird. A lot of dead people. I mean, that's a general comment on the fort. Just a lot of dead people, in general. You know it's a good fortress when you run out of coffins. Fuck it. I mean, things aren't so bad, yet. But we're getting there. Well, fury. Think Things are interesting, shall we say, huh? How many, how many people? Sure. Just people keep showing up every day. I wanna play music! Oh, I'm sure it's gonna be like a fucking golden toilet seat. Behold the ass of wielding or something. The ass of wielding! The ancient ass of wielding! Look at this, another petition. Yes. Jesus. Go away. I'm just gonna hope to have a million bards in here, so as soon as someone opens the door to the bar, it's a 10,000 people playing 10,000 different instruments in a weird fucked up chorus. And they go, oh no. And a few grizzled mercenaries just kind of in between them, just looking all like, ugh. And then you go downstairs and it's just piles of shit and stink and bones. And then you go down even lower and it's this giant mausoleum and weird semi-functional space but half complete and you hear construction and people wailing and screaming. Yeah, you know, Dwarf Fortress. Anyways, I think we're getting there. Kind of. All right. You know, the usual. This is Dwarf Fortress, really, I, th I think, ultimately. It's just, what the fuck is going on and why? And then everyone else just goes, eh, you know, it's alright. Man, look at that. There's Diggs. Grand Bedroom. I feel so good, satisfied at work, euphoric due to inebriation, bored, grouchy, bored, irritated. I mean, not the, not, not the happiest dwarf, but fuck it. 
We're getting there. Let's see, workshops. Let's go with a clothier shop, because we bought, I think, quite a bit of clothing. And we'll build it at a pewter. A pewter workshop. We got people who are dehydrated despite having a massive stockpile of alcohol. A tea wood cage. All right, that's it. I'm looking at this. Got, got it. What, what is this? What is this? Uh, there we are. This is a tea wood cage. All craft store ship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with tea wood and cashew wood. On the item is an image of a walnut tree and tea wood. On the item is an image of dwarves and hematite. The dwarves are traveling. The artwork relates to the foundation of oil chucked by the square mechanisms. Wow, that's kind of nice. That's actually kind of nice. Why is it on a cage? Is the cage what these people feel they are living in now? Who knows? Yeah, I mean, look at that fucking mining. Just boom, 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 boom. I mean, this is crazy. This is what legendary miners look like. Well, and if the game wasn't running as slow as it is, holy shit. All right, let's build a finished good stockpile. I'm gonna build a bunch more stockpiles because we're producing so much shit. It's unre it's unreal. It really is. There's just a piece of meat hanging up there. That's kind of weird. Smith. Yeah, the population just keeps going up, which slows the game down. Too bad you can't send the bards out to sing the praises of your fortress to other fortresses. That would be kind of cool. But yeah, oh, that idea I was talking about. Shit, before my little break. Um, I always wonder in fantasy settings like Tolkien and so on how, how technology stagnates for so long because you start seeing fairly complex things and then, you know, no... Uh, no advanced tech. Like it, it, it just stops. I wonder why. You know, you, you have this medieval or early renaissance level stagnation and you're like, why? What's going on? I mean, I suppose with a low enough literacy rate, it, it just kind of balances out. So the only people who can really read are few and far between, at least on any decent level, in order to extract the knowledge of earlier ages. And if you have continual collapse and rebirth cycles, that probably also fucks things up. Makes me think. I think about this shit often. Huh. Yeah, we're gonna have to try to dig out this horrible pile of stuff. Because we have these massive stockpiles of just garbage everywhere. I mean, it's it's just piles and piles and piles. I mean, yeah, it's it's insane. Yeah, the people are being found dead and dehydrated, which is kind of funny and horrible. Yeah, see, there there's where he wandered. He died. He 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 got himself a little bit uh you know dried out. Dry them out, boys. Maybe he drank from some of our rock salt cups or something, huh? He's like, oh, it's so salty. And then he dies, you know, because it's fucking salt. But, you know. Make a good margarita glass, though, huh? 